Hello and welcome. Today I'm servicing this Elna Star Series Supermatic. Yeah, this is the SU model. It's the original Elna Star Supermatic. There is a facelift model called the New Aspect. It's really just a facelift. I'll get you a close look at that in a second. But this machine came in with a problem where uh, the customer said it wasn't driving. You can see there that uh, the hand wheel's turning there, the motor's driving the hand wheel. The needle bar is not uh, running, the, so the whole machine's not running. You could wind a bobbin, the bobbin winder runs on the back of the hand wheel here. So effectively it's in, it's in bobbin winder mode. You'd kind of expect to just be able to tighten this stop motion clutch knob here. And if you turn it clockwise to tighten it, you can see that it's actually driving the machine. So this knob here is tightened against this little circle up. I'll get you a closer look here. So if you have a look in the manual you'll see that it will say to uh, engage the machine into sewing mode. You turn this clockwise, screw that up until it tightens clockwise, but that never tightens. It's just turning on the, it's just turning the shaft there. And to engage bobbin winding mode, if it was in sewing mode, you would unscrew it this way. And you can see no matter what, it does nothing. Let's get in for a close look, see what's actually happening here. One thing to remember here while I show you this is that if you see the shaft turning with the little circlip on it here, you can see the circlip and the shaft turning there. That's driving the machine. If you look over here on the left, it's driving the needle bar there. Okay. If I'm turning the wheel, and the shaft isn't turning, the needle bar's not moving. So you can see that, and this is the, the hand wheel gets driven by the motor. So just bear that in mind because I'm going to zoom in on this area here and you won't be able to see the needle bar. You can see here that when I turn this, as I showed you before, no matter which way I turn this, uh, the machine is driving. See the shaft turning there with the circlip there, turning even uh, tightening, loosening, nothing, and it never ever seems to uh, engage the machine properly. You can see the hand wheel there. And you'll see there's a little bit of play there as well, but that's, that's quite normal, that's by design. So effectively what's happened here is this knob here, which is threaded on the shaft here, has been undone too far and is actually clamping up against the circlip here. So if I hold the machine and stop it from turning, you can see that now that I've got this free, that the hand wheel is still disengaged. But if I tighten this, so just remember tighten is righty tighty and loosen is lefty loosey. It's one way of remembering it, but clockwise to tighten. So turning it clockwise tightens it up against the hand wheel here and clamps the hand wheel to the shaft and, and engages the drive. So now the hand wheel's been driven by the motor and the hand wheel is driving the shaft, it's driving the needle bar. Everything's working as it should. When you loosen this to put it into bobbin winding mode, you can see that it's disengaged, no problem. And then you can, you know, this just sort of floats nice and freely there. Don't worry about that circlip moving, that's not actually moving the shaft, it's just spinning around the uh, little groove on the shaft there. So tighten it up, no problem. Loosen it, no problem at all. So what's actually happened is that this has been unscrewed so far that it's tightened up against the circlip here. So until you tighten this here, so we'll go right, you know, turn it clockwise to tighten it against the hand wheel. What that does is it loosens it from the circlip here. So effectively the clutch is working in reverse. It's um, instead of tightening against the hand wheel, it's tightened against the circlip. And you don't want that. The only way it can really happen is if you uh, use a little bit of uh, inertia. So that's uh, loose there again, I've just held the machine and loosened it there, so it's nice and loose. 
but if you unscrew this too far and you just put a little bit of inertia there and just the weight of the uh, you know the workings of the machine allows this to tighten against here it's loose against here say it's loose against here but it's tight against here so effectively you know that's that's pretty much it to sort this problem out all I really had to do was hold you know stop the actual machine from turning you can see that that's driving the uh, take up lever down here and the needles needle bars going up and down all I really had to do was hold this stop this from turning and tighten this and effectively it loosened it off the circlip here so once this is free again you know just nice and free you can use it normally just uh, tighten tighten that up against the hand wheel there and as long as you don't I mean you can loosen it as far as it'll go but generally you can tighten it back up again without having to hold the machine back but if this is jammed out against there hard like that and you, nothing you can do just hold this or hold you can hold the um, needle bar stop the needle bar from turning you know if you don't have the lid off what you can do is you can stop the needle bar from moving there and just tighten so that that loosens off the circlip and then you can go ahead and tighten it up onto the hand wheel there just like that yeah so just a quick one I thought I'd show you that. It's a uh, little bit of a problem with this style the older style of um, Elna Star Series Supermatics uh, now I'll give you a quick look at the new aspect and we'll see what they changed there because obviously it was a, a little bit of an issue just before we have a look at the stop motion clutch on the new aspect machine you can see the differences here if we just compare the knob here this is the new aspect machine so it's a later model this is the early original aspect here you can see that the dial here is a different type of dial the old ones sort of um, got a slightly sunken in face there with a gold band around there and um, different sort of knurling if you like on the on the knob there whereas the new aspects got this sort of uh, silvery plate smooth plate here with different knurling on the on the handle here and you'll see also that the knob here for controlling the zigzag this one here is more like a vertical sort of knob here you know you can turn for buttonhole and your zigzag functions there whereas you can see the new one here is a square type knob there just small difference just facelift um, modifications really and the tension dial similar sort of uh, thing to the stitch length dial there on the new aspect you can see it there on the old aspect slightly different so if we have a look on the new aspect model you can see that the stop motion knob here looks quite different and it doesn't suffer from this problem because they removed the circlip and they are using a little stopper mechanism so the screw screws right through into the back of this knob here and then there's a stopper little nub that stops this from loosening too far it actually hits a stopper there it's quite a positive so it can never loosen too far for this knob to come right off and it can never loosen far to tighten up on a on a circlip so they uh, you can see there it doesn't have the circlip but yep yeah, that um, sorts that problem out so obviously you know there was a known sort of issue there with the older machine so that's it pretty much for this one just a quick one there to show you how you can sort out the problem with the stop motion clutch uh, here if it doesn't re-engage on the older style Elna Supermatic Star Series so yep hope you found that helpful and as always thank you very much to my patrons on Patreon if you'd like to help support the channel please take a look at patreon.com forward slash sewing machines and thank you very much for watching